Hey everybody, welcome back to Level Pixel Level. Today I'm just going to bake the animations out of the control rig into the deform rig, and then I'll just export the files as FBX. Okay, so I'll just move my timeline down here, and the dope sheet and just hide them for the moment. And I'll just collapse this window over just so I have a bit more room. I'm going to bake the animation to the deform rig. So I'm going to turn the deform rig on, and select everything, and if I hit F3 and type in bake, I have this bake action option right here. I'm going to click on that, and for my idle animation, I'm going to do 0 to 100, and I'm going to turn everything on except for clear constraints. I actually want to keep the constraints, and I'll come back to why I want this in a bit. So I'm going to click OK, and this bakes the animation to that rig. Now you'll notice I have a new action in my dope sheet in the action editor called action. So I could just call this deform night idle. There's just one problem though. This character still has all of its constraints looking at the control rig. But I'm going to write a little bit of script to help with this. So I'm going to go to my text editor. I'm going to open up my script that I'm using for pretty much everything. I'll just comment out the word constraints here, and I'm just going to add a new uh, function. And this is going to be just called toggle constraints. So I'm going to look for the bones again. So I have this line right here. I'll just copy it. And I actually do want to look for bones in bones um, and look at all the constraints again. So I'll just copy that as well. I'm going to get rid of that line. And I'm going to say for constraint in bone.constraints. constraint, and I believe it's influence, but I'll just hover over the um, influence over here to get the Python tooltip. If you don't see that again, go to your preferences, go to interface and turn on developer extra and Python tooltips. So it's dot influence. And I'm going to make that to equal zero for now. Now if I run this, it'll put that influence to zero. So let's do one more thing here. I'll just make this my input, just to make this a little bit easier. And I'll put this to input here. And I'll make this 0. Now if I select everything on the rig, I can put this to 0 for every single constraint. Now my deform bone is free of my control rig. If when I bake the action, if I had have selected clear constraints, it would have deleted all of these constraints which means I wouldn't have been able to connect it to my control rig again, which wouldn't be ideal if I wanted to export multiple actions and have many different animation files on my character. Okay, so I'm going to come down to my deform night idle here, and I'm going to click this little shield icon to place it in my fake users. And we talked about this in the last video. So now I have this nice idle animation. And I'm going to close it here. I'm actually going to remove this action from the character for now, because I want to bake the walk action as well. So I'll come back to frame 0, and I'll make my timeline 20. And on my control rig, I'm going to flip it from night idle to night walk. But you'll notice that the rig itself is moving, but the deform rig is no longer connected to the control rig. I need to select everything, and under my new uh, toggle constraints function here, I need to put my input to 1.0, and I'll just hit play. And now this is connected again. Now with this selected, I can hit F3, I can do bake action, and I can bake this to those 20 frames. Cool, so I'll call this uh, deform night walk. Okay, so I'm going to toggle my constraint down to zero, so that the control rig is no longer connected to it, and I still have my nice animation on my deform rig. Let's export this now as FBX. The only thing I need to go to the game engine is the night deform rig plus my three pieces of geometry here. Okay, with those pieces selected, I'll go to File, Export, FBX. I'm going to limit this to selected objects, and I'm going to turn off uh, Lamp, Camera, and MT, and Other, and I'm just going to do Armature and Mesh. I'm also going to change one thing under Armature. I'm going to turn off Add Leaf Bones. And I'll just rename this to Night Character uh, Walk. And now I'll just click export. Cool, that's done. I'll just flip this to my idle animation. And I'll just change the frame range to 100. I'm going to go file, export, FBX again. And I'll do night character idle for this one.
and I'll click export. Okay, so the only thing going to the game engine is the knight deform rig and the three pieces of geometry. The reason we built the control rig was to have more advanced animation functions on our rig. This isn't necessary for a lot of projects. Um, you could just animate the deform rig, but if you're working with teams of animators or you want to learn more about Blender rigging, you're going to want this cool control rig on your character. This tends to be a bit more standard within animation pipelines, just to have something simple like this to move the character around. But this is changing a little bit with different um, add-ons that are coming out to sort of automate this process. You can also rig this in the game engines. Uh, Unity and Unreal actually have full rigging capabilities right now, where you can sort of build these character rigs in file. That is something I'll look into later on, probably in a future tutorial, is just how to rig within the game engine. But anyway, this is just sort of this process, and it's just a good way to start rigging a character uh, just to get an idea of the mechanics and the functionality that go along with it. So in the next video, we'll bring this into Unity, into the game engine. Big thank you to my patrons for supporting me in this video. Uh, it's because of you guys that I can continue to make these videos. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.